Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make web apps with Tangram. So Tangram is like an anchoring app. It's not like Natifier where you can build your own website program for Linux or whatever. It's more like you add your web apps to this browser and it will always know that this is the web app and it will anchor it kind of. So we're going to use Gmail for this because, you know, I have a lot of Gmail accounts. I don't have to worry about my own privacy and broadcasting my personal uh, information to the internet. But uh, to start off, you need to install Tangram. And to do that, you can find the information in the description. Once you've gotten that installed, let's just go to our favorite web app website. So I can go to mail.google.com. Now, once I'm here, I can sign into my account. Now to sign in, I would sign in like I normally do on Gmail. Now, keep in mind that you don't have to use this service right now. Like I'm just using Google because it's the easiest to get going. But uh, you can use like Discord, YouTube, you know, Google Docs even, and I think we'll do that as well. The main thing you cannot do is you cannot use stuff that uses proprietary codecs. So you can't use Spotify, you can't use Netflix, as far as I know, but I'm sure that the developer will deal with that at some point. So I've got my Gmail set up here. Now I can just click Done, and I know that this is my Gmail, and I click Add as Gmail. Now, whenever I open this, my web app, my Gmail web app will be there and I will always be able to see it no matter what. If I want to add a different one, like if I want to go to docs, I go to docs.google.com. And once again, I have to sign in because these are sandboxed. And uh, I, I don't think the tabs know, are aware of each other. So if you're using Google properties, you will have to sign in a bunch of different times. So now once I'm loaded into my Google Docs account here, I can just click the done button and I know that this is Google Docs. So like I said before, I can load my Gmail, I can load my, load my Google Docs and I can add infinite like web applications, programs that I would normally be using in like Firefox or Chrome. This can just be set up as an app in Tangram. And this is very helpful if you use like a webmail for like a server, maybe you use a lot of like work tools that are on the web on your Linux app you have to use your private web browser for that you use at home you know maybe slack or or a lot of different things you can choose from here but Tangram is really cool and like I said it doesn't compile the web app down to like a program but it does make life significantly easier because you can just keep track of all these web apps and run them in a sandbox environment so if you like that you should check that out but anyways guys I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.